This place has exploded, Stan. The good old centre's roof has come off. The Lion of Africa, the All Africa champion, going up against the French, former French champion and Gauteng champion, Terry McDowell. This is going to be a great one. This one's going into the history books, guaranteed. We've got the belt lying here, right here by us. And uh, my word, it is going to be absolutely awesome. Oh no, early start by Terry Mandel, wasting time on the referee. And the ref has a smirk in his face. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I see that smirk in the face as fight got underway before the bell even rang. Well, the bell is gone now. And by God, Stan, this is going to be ugly. Really two huge men, the Lion of Africa, the All-Africa champion, Sean Kuhn. What a big man at six with six. Oh, what a cross-body dive. And I'm sure this ring is going to break in two, only a two count. It is going to get uglier and uglier by the second. As I was saying, Sean Kuhn standing tall at six foot seven, well over two meters at 160 kgs. He's a massive he man. He's a huge, huge, He's a huge man, individual. Sean Kuhn. But take nothing away from uh, the ex Frenchman Terry Mado, now living in South Africa and uh, the current Kauteng heavyweight champion. Yeah. Great take down by Mr. Kuhn, the line of Africa. About on the line, and who's going to walk away victorious here this evening? Kerry Mandel, the Gauteng champion, no pushover himself. Very arrogant, though. My friend, uh -oh. my friend, the skull has just walked past here. Well, well, well. What is he doing here? It's going to be trouble, and we, there is a belt on the line. It's a title fight. As, as long as the skull does not get involved in this, it should be okay. Whose side is he going to take? Let's hope he takes nobody's side here. Let this one go down to the wire. You know, normally I like to choose one or the other. But I think I'm going to call this one with you, Stan, right down the middle, because my goodness, it's going to be awesome stuff. Scott is going our way. He's taking a chair. He's actually taking a seat. What? Actually taking a seat. I can't believe it. He's actually having a seat right by us. Leave him. He may sit down. Let him have a look. In for the ride goes Madau. Oh, the ring! How did that turnbuckle not break? That's only a thin cushion. That turnbuckle probably dug right into the back of Madau. Terry Madau re regrouping outside. The skull going his way. This is going to be interesting. Friend or foe? It is friend. Uh oh. Friend or foe? What the hell is Skull doing? He walked out early on crowd favorite, and now all of a sudden he's on the side of Mado. I don't believe Skull knows exactly where he wants to be. Sean Kuhn has to be very careful with the Skull outside. Anything is possible. A nod from both wrestlers. What is wrong with his ref? Beginning to feel his three on one here. Well, the ref is going to have to get the French man in the ring. Terry Mado, you're going to have to climb in. Sean Kuhn is waiting. Sean Kuhn is stalking him. He's got something lethal in his hand. Well, the ref had a lot to say there to Sean Kuhn. Got something in his hand for crying out loud. The official is as blind as a bat. I don't see anything in the hand. I got, I got the ring post in front of me. Uh, Are you uh, blind? Yeah, well, I've got, I got this cushion here. I you've, can't see. You've got a monitor right in front and of you as well. Look anything. at the... Oh! A sharp object to the face of Sean Kuhn, the Lion of Africa, is stunned. Well, Sean Kuhn, Kuhn is in a world of hurt at this moment. Something right into the forehead there. I told you, I told I, I, you. Yeah, I saw it as well, I saw it as well. It's about time you start seeing things. Crying out loud, going for the cover. The Lion of Africa in a lot of trouble. Oh, the ring. Oh, a lot of power there by Sean A lot of Sean power Kuhn. right there. The skull is glaring at us. Stay away from him. I'll oh, leave Skull alone. He's parading around here. I, I, I think I know why the Skull is here. I think I know. To make sure that all these people stay on that side of the safety barrier. Do you believe the nonsense you talk? Well, he hasn't done anything wrong. I think he's going to keep these... So why doesn't he go to the back and take they a shot? What the doing they here? brought him down here as a security guard. It's no security. We've got a lot of security. I have no words for you. The ref as well. I think they all need a beating. 
And now Sean Kunad, you see what happens. He's having words with the skull. He should be focused on Terry Mado. It's not focused on the skull. The skull shouldn't be here. It should be one on one. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh for the love of what is all good. Oh my word. That's two chair shots. Sean Kuhn is absolutely in no man's land. He's in la la land. He has no idea where he is. Oh, Mado wants the belt. Look at the mark on the side there of Terry Mado. Well, Terry Mado just stomping now in the ribs of Sean Kuhn. Those shots to the head was awesome. The Frenchman can't get the line of Africa. That is a big man. Ain't going to get him up like that. Well, it's one. It's two. Only a two count. And the power of Sean Kuhn pushing Mado off. Oh. The Lion is upset. He's angry. Well, he's got the claws out now as the Lion. That's for sure. And now, oh, he's got the pressure down on the neck. He just draped over that middle rope. Oh, here we go, Stan. Ah, oh, but I would. I thought the rope was going to break there for a moment. I thought the ring was going to collapse. Look at the size of that big man. 6'7", just shy of 160 kgs. That is as big as it gets, Bruce. These are two huge, huge giants in the ring. Terry Madone, no small man by any standard. 6'2", 135 kgs. Oh, listen to the chops. Those are steak chops. Major, major knife edge chops there, that's for sure. And now, once again, Mado in a lot of trouble. He's on, if you're on the ropes or against the ropes and somebody's on your back like that, you are in no man's land. What is the ref's problem? Your friend, a former Bill Billy wrestler, whatever. Yeah, just should go leave, home, should leave, go leave, home. leave the ref alone. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's, he's got control of this one. He's counting, he's got a count until five, he's got until four. Sean Kuhn broke the hole. So, what is your problem with the ref? The aggression and the smirk every time. Terry Mado does something right and Sean Kuhn does it wrong. A low blow right in front of the ref. The ref smiles. I don't understand well, what's going ref, on. The here. ref was standing behind Sean Kuhn. He the ref it. saw everything. Look at the arrogance of the Frenchman. Once again, he's got the object. What object? He's got something in his hand. I'm not sure how much the line of Africans can still take. I'm not sure Sean Kuhn has anything left. Well, He's taken such a beating from Terry Mado well, and this, the skull. Well, this one started. The ref, I've, I've no words for this man. Well, this whole thing between Terry Mado and this, uh, the line of Africa, Sean Kuhn, it started about a month ago, right here in the Good Hope Centre. Do you recall, Stan, when Mado... His body the searching the man, the man has it in his hand. He's got a weapon in his hand, but he searches the body. Do you remember when Terry Mado went on with one-on-one -on -one with the people's champ, Nizam Hartley? What a great match that was. Uh, this is where this whole feud started between Sean Kuhn and Terry Mado. It's been around for some time, and it's bubbling over tonight, but still unfair, it's two-on-one. Completely and totally unacceptable. Well, we knew this wasn't going to be a nice one. Terry Mado, what does he have in his hand? I have no idea. The line of Africa's forehead right there. The champion is in a lot of trouble. It's two on one at the moment, and sometimes in some places it actually feels like a three on one. Well, to say that Sean Kuhn was in this match from the beginning would be a lot of lies. Terry Mado realizes Sean Kuhn is bigger, he's more powerful, and obviously a lot stronger. And he needs to do what he has to do to try and beat Sean Kuhn. And Sean has been pummeled into a bloody mess. His head has been busted open. It's a big cut on the forehead of Sean Kuhn. The skin has been lacerated. And the blonde line of Africa is a bloody...